Welcome to the Cryptonomatron. Today we're just going to have a quick look at the markets and we're going to talk about a couple of ICOs that have just launched on the, on the exchanges and uh, we'll have a little look at a new coin that I mentioned yesterday in my short video and see how that's doing. So uh, let's have a look at uh, coin market cap here. Market capitalization is under 200 um, billion at the moment, just dipped under. It was slightly over at about 201 billion. That's an incredible amount of money flowing into uh, crypto at the moment, guys. And of course, it's all down to Bitcoin, the surge in Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin topped out about $7,400, incredible uh, rise there, uh, but not unforeseen. Uh, and it will probably continue to rise as uh, more people get interested and mass adoption starts to occur. So currently it's sitting at 7,235 there uh, with a, um, sorry about that, with a, a 3.3 million, a 3.3 billion, sorry, um, a 24 hour volume. So that's uh, very, very impressive figures for Bitcoin. Surely got to retract at some point, but that probably won't happen until closer uh, to the um, SegWit 2x fork. So uh, uh, keep your eye on Bitcoin. You might want to off offload it just before the fork or right after the fork and try and get back into your alt position as well. I would say it will have some correction uh, later on. Going down the list, Ethereum still hanging around 300 as usual. Bitcoin Cash is mirroring Bitcoin's rise. Uh, it's now at 612, quite impressive. Of course, there's a lot of support there. People are hedging their uh, their bets, so to speak, and putting some money into uh, Bitcoin Cash as well. Um, Ripple, not doing much. Neo, still under $30, a bargain at the moment. That's surely going to go into three figures in the, in the future at some point. Ethereum Classic went on a little spurt there. Um, Up 15% almost, that's pretty impressive. Omis Go, coming back to where it was before. Uh, Cardano is one to watch as well. That'll certainly be a top 10 currency in the future if Charles Hoskinson has his way. It's a very promising project, looking very nice indeed. Uh, BitConnect, BitConnect's fallen from grace. It was in the top 10, um, about number seven or eight, I think. And it's uh, had a billion dollars wiped off its market cap. The reason for that is that coin market cap are no longer recognizing the tokens that they have uh, stored on their website or people have lended the tokens to make profit on their website and they're not considering considering those tokens in circulation. So a billion dollars <laughs> is, is actually uh, locked now on the um, uh, BitConnect website and uh, they don't recognize it. So the uh, circulatory supply now is... Uh, 583 million going down the list other good performers and um, stratus doing well coming back from a, a real dump and um, arc uh, vertcoin again recovering it went down to almost three dollars it's recovered uh, very rapidly so there's still support for the segwit coins like uh, vertcoin and grossel coin um, there's a lot of hype on the internet about those. They're very volatile though, so uh, <laughs> you have to have a, a strong hand if you want to get involved in those. Uh, Tron, I've got a little bit of Tron. Uh, there was an airdrop last week, free 10%, lovely. Everybody likes free, t free coins. Um, it's uh, not really performing at the moment, probably due to the high supply and the airdrop as well. Uh, going down, let's see what else. Everything's gaining, nearly everything's gaining anyway. Uh, Walton, what a fall from grace. Walton's had, it's now under $5. It was almost at $4. It seems to be recovering a little bit now, but I think it was oversold. There was a lot of hype about it. Um, and now it's coming back to its, uh, its, its true value, I think. Fact Tom's had a good bounce. Uh, Economy's uh, doing rather, rather well. Buy Tom as well. Uh, Verge. Uh, metal, metal had a bit of a scandal. There was a bit of an issue with that. I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, I'd stay away from that at the moment until it shows uh, good recovery. Going down the list, let's have a look. KuCoin is one that I've been investigating. Of course, um, uh, it's the Korean exchange, the token from there. And uh, Bitcoin's had a bit of a pump thanks to uh, Superman. So uh, Mike, yeah, well done. <laughs> Got pumped up a little bit, but it's still a good price at 85 cents. It's retracted a little bit and it's a good bargain. Anything under a dollar, I would say um, uh, Bitcoin's is actually a, a, a bit of a bargain. So uh, keep your eye on that. Chainlink, 
what a bargain, uh, uh, just over 16 cents. You can't really go wrong with that. That'll certainly have traction in the future. Zencash, uh, the miners will be happy. The uh, Zencash hit $22 yesterday. That was an impressive um, feat for that. Uh, storage doing well. And uh, Grusel coin again, as I mentioned before, good support for the Segwit coins. Uh, Grusel coin very volatile, though, up and down uh, like a nun's knickers. So if you do get into it, be careful. You get in and out at the right time, guys, yeah? Uh, oh, Ubik looks like it's going to drop out the top 100. That's a shame. It's a good project run by um, uh, the guy that checks the code for uh, um, Bitrex. I've uh, forgotten his name. It's uh, slipped my mind at the moment. Uh, but that was a good project. Still is. It um, looks to... Um, be a platform for businesses to use similar to ethereum obviously not as popular um, and it's it it topped out about three dollars forty if, uh, if i can remember uh, about two two months ago and it's come right down so it is a bargain at the moment and that is one to maybe hold for the long term but it's going to drop out the top 100 now there's a lot more exciting projects going on so um Right, sorry about that. That's about the fifth time it's popped up. I'll press the right button this time to get rid of it. Hopefully it doesn't come back. So we can see um, there's, there's quite uh, good gains going on with the alts. I think uh, the more money that flows into Bitcoin, uh, the more will trickle down to the alts when people realize they can't make a quick buck on Bitcoin anymore. And it's going to be in, it's going to rise, but it's going to be a staggered rise. It will pull back, rise, pull back, rise. Um, Bitcoin's one for the longer term now, I think, if you're going to invest. And you need to have quite a bit of capital invested in it to make any decent returns. So people are realizing now they can uh, put money into the alts and possibly get higher returns. It is riskier, but that seems to be the thinking behind it anyway. Uh, so um, what's trending at the moment? Let's have a little look. Uh, Zeos, haven't heard of that one. Uh, Bitquay, doing, doing very well. Uh, that was one that was recommended to me. Alice as well came on my uh, radar. It's doing very well. Dovu as well, that's backed by Jaguar Land Rover. ICO just came out recently, uh, if I'm correct with that one. Uh, Grosso Coin as well, always on there. Um, yes, so nothing really stands out for me there i don't actually have a position in any of these coins i did have in vibe and um, i went into the ico on vibe but i uh, sold my position after it hit the exchanges and um, looking down let's see the losers um, nothing really stands out well Electro electronium it just uh, came off ico it's down 27 percent almost uh, so people have pumped that and dumped it atlant same uh, dubai coin going down to its uh, true value i think and nothing else of interest there really so let's have a look at the recently added what's just come on to coin market cap um, streamer so they've just had an ico and it looks to the coin looks to be doing quite well um alt community coin a mineable coin you can actually mine that with your gpus uh, that seems to be uh, on everyone's radar at the moment there's quite good profits in that but nothing else really happening my next coin i don't know about that one uh power ledger now i was in the power ledger ico unfortunately it hit the exchanges it's slightly under pre-sale price which was uh, not very impressive uh, but it seems to have recovered a little bit and it's uh, now um up past its ico price so that's quite good and it's still a good price to get into because that has got a lot of um traction in the future the project's very good the um uh, Basically, the, the uh, project is uh, they're going to use uh, green energy and they're going to resell power from solar power, wind power, biomass, etc. that has not been used. So essentially, if you've got a solar facility or you power your house with solar, you can sell the excess energy that you don't use back to the government. It goes back into the grid. Now, the reason why it's going to work is because it's already a proven concept. Um, it's actually an idea from Scotland. What happened was... Um, a company in Scotland, and uh, a crowdfunded company, not an ICO, this was before the cryptocurrency uh, 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 space really happened. Um, they had a concept that they could buy excess electricity and sell it back to the, to the uh, user at under government or under uh, national electricity grid prices. Uh, they did so, there was a big uproar because everybody wants the cheapest electricity or uh, power that they can possibly get. So the concept is proven. Power Ledger are just gonna use the blockchain to facilitate that. So it's a good project, good team behind it. Um, and there's a lot of traction in it. I think it's probably undervalued as it is at the moment. I would say, 
it's a, a medium to long term hold for me. I have some of these. As I said, I got in at pre sale at the ICO, so I'm going to I'm going to keep on to them. Uh, I'm not going to flip them. Um, I'm going to see where it goes from here. So the other ICO that I was looking at recently was Ether Party. Now, Ether Party seems to be uh, coming back, but it really had a dump after it hit the exchanges, and it hit the exchanges. Um, at a low price, so there wasn't much profit to be made. There still isn't. And I took an L on this one, actually. I took a loss. I had some of the tokens. I got in at ICO stage, and I just cut my losses and got rid of them. I don't think the project has the legs to compete with the other um, uh, players in the space, like Blockcat, and uh, the community don't seem to have the support. If you post anything negative on Reddit or any of the other channels, you're quickly deleted. There doesn't seem to be any exchange of views allowed. So um, I'm out of this one, guys. I don't see it going anywhere in the future. I don't have any belief in it. Um, and I think the token sale was handled badly. There was a lot of tokens. We're talking about millions of tokens. There's a billion uh, total supply, but a million tokens hit the exchanges and were offloading it under ICO and, uh, and um, uh, pre-sale prices. So where those tokens came from, we don't know. Um, but it really caused the, the, the uh, after uh, effects and the investors not too happy about that. So uh, yeah, um, it's a good price if you want to get in now. Will it go much higher? I don't think for the long term. You might make, be able to make some quick profits. Who knows? Uh, but let's uh, um, move on now. And my next one is Modem. Now, that came off ICO a week or so ago. Um, it's a very good price now. It's a supply chain coin, much like Walton. There's people saying it's going to be the new Walton. It's a good price to get in, and it's around the same price uh, at where I bought Walton before, before it shot up to $8. So uh, good possibility here. It's been higher before. There is a lot of traction with this one. Good volume going into the coin now. Low circulating supply and <coughs> excuse me, low total supply. So uh, this might be one to watch. Keep your eye on this one. Moving on. Just to let you know, I'm now mining Pearl Coin and uh, making some decent returns on it. Made 15 coins already, found four blocks, which is quite nice. I've got two small rigs on it with a total of 220 mega hashes. Um, it's a, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, it's the, it's actually, I was told on my YouTube channel that it is the first uh, Dagger Hashimoto coin or uh, algorithm coin or token to uh, implement Masternode system. So that's quite interesting. When the master nodes come out, there's bound to be a bump in price on this one. Uh, so yeah, keep your eye on Pearl, guys. Let's have a little look at see what see what it's doing. It was about 29 cents yesterday, and yeah, it seems to have fallen a little bit, but um, it's still around there. It's very low supply, very low volume at the moment because it's a brand new uh, community built coin, um, and they've got some uh, good ideas for it. So I've started to mine it, and I think it's got good value in the future. Okay, so that's me for today, guys. I'll do another video tomorrow. This was really um, just impromptu. I might do one of these every few days just to assess the market. If you like it, give me a like below, subscribe to my channel, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.